Welcome to Knifey Paints, and in this video I'll be showing you how to paint up some weathered oil drums. Let's crack in. Before painting, I've undercoated the model with Mr. Oxide Red Surfacer from Mr. Hobby. I've then given each barrel a coat of chipping medium from Vallejo, and I've let this sit for 30 minutes to dry. Once the chipping medium is dry, I've given each barrel a base coat. The first one is Cantor Blue, the second one is Mephiston Red, and the third is Avedon Black, all from Citadel. Once you get your base coats down, now with only water, I'm going over each barrel with a brush to help activate the chipping medium. With an old toothbrush, I'm just brushing it over the barrels. This will start to take off the paint in random spots. This will give me a nice base for a weathered effect. Using a toothpick, I'm just putting scratches on the barrel and this will help enhance the weathering effect. The first paint I put down here is Rust Texture from Vallejo. This is one of their paints from their environmental line. I'm putting this paint over all the exposed areas where you can see the red underneath. And just with my thumb, I'm smudging it in areas. This will help break up the color and have darker and lighter areas around the barrel. With all these paints, make sure you, when you're painting, you don't paint any uniform patterns. With the rust paint down, now it's time to move on to a wash. This will be Oiled Earth from Vallejo. With this wash, I'm using it to run into all the nicks and dents in the barrels. Also the rings around the barrel and the ring around the top of the barrel. Now it's time to give the rust a bit of texture and the barrels a bit more colour and this is done with Orange Rust from Tamiya Weathering Master Kit C. Using the little sponge makeup brush end, I've just dabbed this over all the areas of the oil drums that the rust is showing through. It doesn't matter if you get this on the coloured areas of the drums, this will just add more character and texture to the oil drums. Once I was happy with the amount of rust I've put down, I've sprayed the models with Mr. Super Clear's Matte Varnish. This will seal the pigment to the model and also allow us to paint over it later. Once the matte varnish was dried, I've gone over the model with Nylac Oxide from Citadel. Now with this colour, I like to mix a little bit of water sometimes into the paint. So occasionally I'll go straight from the pot onto the model and other times I'll go with a little bit of water. Just having fun with this paint, trying to randomise and mix it up, getting that rusty and oxidised look over the time. With the Nylac Oxide down, I've gone over the model again with the Tamiya Orange Rust. Same as before, but this time just leaving a little bit of the Nylac Oxide showing through. Then I've sealed it again with the Mr. Super Clear's Matte Varnish.
The next colour I've put down is Slimy Grime Dark from Vallejo. This is one of their environmental colours. Unlike the previous colours I've been laying down, I've really been selective with where I'm putting this and also begun to put some streaks using this paint. This next colour is Moss and Lichen from Vallejo. Again, this is another one of their environmental paints. This colour is quite bright, so the best way I find to use this colour is adding water in areas. So occasionally I'll go straight from the pot, then I'll add some water, vary it up the amount of water I add, and I find that gives you the best result. To show that one of these drums has been recently used, I've used Petrol Spills Environmental Colour from Vallejo. With this colour, the best thing I suggest to do is apply the paint, let it dry, and then just go over it again and again, applying as much as you need to the desired colour. To finish off the oil drums, the last colour I go with is European Mud from Vallejo's environmental range. This is a very thick paint, it's got like some sort of sand or grit in it. To build up the mud, I apply a first base coat, let that dry or harden, and then apply more mud over the top of that until I'm happy with the thickness and the amount of mud on the rim of the base I've got. Here they are, ready to find a home on a tabletop. Thanks for watching Nephew Paints. If there's anything you'd like to see in a future video, please leave a comment in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next one. Catch ya!